Hey guys, still here. Welcome back to Regiments. Or maybe I should say welcome to Regiments in case you haven't been here before. Regiments, what is this like? Um, it's a game that is... Mm, it's an RTS wargame-esque. Let me say it that way. Wargame-esque. And you're playing in the Cold War. You are playing with military units from that period, but there are a ton of differences. I'm going to be doing a separate video on all the differences, but that is a whole different kettle of fish. So, um, what I wanted to do today is do a bit of skirmish, show a bit of the operations, uh, maybe show some units. In case you have any questions, let me know down below in the chat. And, well, let's make it a fun little stream, shall we? When it comes to picking a battle, um, we got a couple of maps. And I don't know any of them. I don't know. Uh, lakes. Lakes. Let's see if this is interesting. Time limit, 30 minutes. However, you can pause the game. That's something that's very different from work game. You can pause the game. And with that, you're going to be able to decide on the fly whether you want to adjust your tactics. Which is going to make it more interesting. Um, a lot of these things I don't know what to do with. Um, like... I'm not sure if you need to be adjusting any of the income settings, but whatever. For now, it'll be fine as is. I'm not sure what high lethality is. Oh, all weapons have a chance to inflict extra damage up to times two. Okay. Now, I should note, this is a single player only game. No multiplayer, and that is going to, well, turn some people away. It's uh, really going to be that easy. Let's see. I think we're going to have to start with the US first, right? We're going to have to start with US. Uh, can I show you the regiments that exist? Yes, of course. We have the 1st Brigade, 3rd Armored Division. And these guys are carrying a group of M1s. That's the two M1 uh, for 140 points. you got M3A2, M2 Bradleys, another M2 Bradleys, Vulcan, M106, and an AH1F Cobra. This, however, is not quite the end of it. Because you're also looking at expanding your divisions throughout the battle. So if you want to go for more helicopter presence, you can. If you want to go for more armored presence, you can. You have a lot of options. And you unlock these new divisions after a while. That's the, the task forces mode. Is that that standard, slower, faster, or immediate? The other one. Uh, we have the 1st Brigade 8th Infantry. was also stationed in Germany. They move about in Humvees. They have M1A1, so better tanks, which are also vastly more expensive. M113 with infantry, uh, M113 with fire support, M109A3 with the DPICM. Um, that is cluster munition, if I'm not mistaken, but you guys might know better. Chaparrales and OH58Ds. Also, a gun run with an A10. That's fun. Then we got Task Force 373. Again, US. This is uh, Humvees with anti-tank weapons, M551 Sheridans, two groups of those. Much, much more focusing on light units as they're an airborne division. But their killer unit is the Cluster Bomb as well as the AH-64A. I'm not sure whether your Cluster Bombs hit infantry in this game. I haven't really tested that yet. 4th Brigade, 4th Infantry has two M60 groups, a couple of National Guard units, which I think are going to be inferior to regular infantry if you're looking at the price. I mean, you got the Humvees with the Airborne, that's 50 points. You got the M113s with the National Guard, they're 40 points. What else? Uh, that was the 4th Brigade. Then we have the 11th Ca Armored Cavalry Regiment. US 5th Corps. We have M1A1HA. Why is that? Why is the M1A1 so much more expensive? 245 versus 120. I think there might be some balancing that needs to be doing. Oh, and it's veterancy, probably. No, hold on. That's not veterancy, that's units in a group. So you get four M1s or two M1A1HA. Right, that's it. So this means that you're going to have fewer units in your little group yet more powerful units and they're veteran and they're veteran that's the two chevrons next to the 120 points so that's the 11th armored we have the panzer brigade 29 
They have Luch, Lux, I'm still not sure how to pronounce that. Uh, two Leopard 2A1s. Uh, sorry, no, one Leopard 2A1, Leopard 1A5, 1A4, Murder 2A2, Murder Pentagram, Roland, and M106. They drop cluster bombs out of Alpha Jets. We have the Panzerlier Brigade 9. Lux, L, uh, Leopard 2A4, 1A5, Martyr Panzergrens, M113 with Panzergrens. So M113 is probably as cheap. Martyr 2 or Martyr A2 as fire support. Geppard, anti air, and M109. Noteworthy is that these guys lack smoke. Well, they have artillery smoke, which is also handy. Yet, I would, coming from Wargame, be much more familiar with going with smoke from mortars. Smoke your tanks up, push in, pull back when they've been damaged. Your call. Panzer Brigade, or sorry, Panzer Grenadier Brigade 13. Looks, two 1A5s, two Martyr A2 Panzergrens. They also got Panzer Grenadiers in the M113. They have a command unit, that's the M577GE. These um, radically improve the combat capabilities of everybody, essentially. Everybody around them. Okay, that's the Panzer Brigade 21. Leopard 2A4, Leopard 2A1, 2A1, Panzergrenz, Panzergrenz, Geppard, M109. They get area recon. Aside from your M109G, you're not going to have any smoke, and your M109 is really expensive. In this case, if I were to pick a task force with it, I would probably go with something I can throw smoke faster than my M109G could. Kampfgruppe Grün. Lux 2A1. Fuchs with Jaeger. Another group, and another group, and another group. These are all about the infantry. They have also a Fuchs command. They got the Lars, which is artillery, MLRS, and the Roland, anti-air. Alpha jet with napalm, and they can rally, which I believe has the ability to use your units when they're panicked or when they're about to run away. All right, um, there is more. These are all NATO brigades, all NATO groups. We got the uh, Vierde Panzer Infanterie Brigade, which is a Belgian unit, not Dutch, interestingly. No, this is Belgian. We have Scimitar, Scorpion, Leopard 1BE, Leopard 1BE, the AIFV C25 with Fusiliers, two groups of those, then an HGM group, another group with Fusiliers, but not with an autocannon, I believe, an HQ, and a whole bunch of mortars. That is two groups of M106s. And they can throw down artillery smoke. So these are far more capable of smoking up the place. Um, oh, I gotta dig up my French. Deux septième. Except, I'm not quite sure if they know what they're doing. Because one says 17th and the other one says 16th. Maybe it's a part of it. The division's part of the brigade. Alright, uh, Scimitar Spartan with Voltigeur. I'm not exactly sure. Um, Leopard 1BE times 3, 4 actually. And Geppard and M106. They can drop Napalm and throw down an artillery barrage. And finally, the Cheveux, Chasseur et Cheval. Uh, the mounted Chasseur, I guess. With Scorpions, Scimitars, Scimitars. Uh, lots of infantry, no tank. Well... With some creativity, you can call the Scimitar and the Scorpion a tank, but I... Well, they're light tanks. Let's just put it that way. They're light tanks. So, that is NATO. What does the Warsaw Pact have? We've got the 40th Motor Rifle Regiment, a couple of T-80BVs, Riflemen, Assault Engineer, Shilka, Gvozdika, and the BMP-2, supported by Artillery Smoke. So you can pop by Smokescreen if and when you see fit, and pull your units back into cover, or use it to advance. Especially handy with those T-80BVs. 61st, uh, yeah, 61st Guards Tank Reg, T-80UD, that's a command unit, and then two T-80UD, sorry, three T-80UDs, um, full-on tanks. And why not check the Regipedia? That's a thing. I'm not sure if it shows you the divisions, that's what I'm at. No, it just shows you all the units. Yeah, oh, here's the Voltigeur. Infantry squads form the backbone. Yeah, okay, fine. No, I was looking at the divisions. Regiments. So that's the tank group. 120th Guards Motor Rifle. 
You might argue that this is a motorized group. It is not. It has a tank. It also has the 9P148, which is an anti-tank unit. Sani as a mortar and the Mi-24P as a gunship. And I've used those in the operations that you can use. Uh, the operations are very interesting because they do allow you to expand your battle groups as you see fit. 332nd Guard Tank Regiment. BMP-1, BMP-2, T-64 groups of all various sizes. One unit of infantry. If you're going to be using these, either augment your group with infantry or fight very carefully when you're going to a forest. Because you got one group of infantry and if they're gone, you're going to have to wait until they respawn or you're going to be forced to take another route and go around a town and go around something like a forest. Let's see, that was the guard tanks. Um, Sep... 35th separate guards, maybe? Sep guards, air assault brigade, BRDMs, BMD2s with a lot of VDV, careful not to drop them in the ocean. Uh, we got known as Grads, HGM vehicles, MI24K, which is a recon helicopter, if I'm not mistaken, and the BMP1PK as a command. Able to start supporting your units and make them more effective. If you need something dead, you can always call an NSU-25, or uh, if your troops are a bit concerned, rally them. Panzer Regiment 4, T-72 M1s uh, of all varying sizes, BTR-70 with riflemen and AT, and with fire support. Akatsia for fire support as well in the form of a uh, howitzer. Strela-10, NTR, and the R-145BM. It is a command unit, but that's about all I can tell you. I'm not exactly sure what the sort of unit is. Then we got the Motoschützen Regiment. Again, not strictly motorized because it's the 9th Panzer Division. We have T-72, a couple of BMPs, both BMP-2s and BMP-1s. Grad, Schilke, Command Units and the MI-24P Gunship. And finally, the Militarbezirk. Not exactly sure what that is. Um, I think it's Reservists. Yeah, PTR-152 with Reservists. Uh, they get a... A lot of units per group. That's what all those dots above the unit icon mean. So if you look at the Sani for 180 points, that's five mortars working together. If you look at the T-55A, that's five tanks. Sorry, six tanks working together. Good lord. More divisions than Warno. Yeah, Blitz. <laughs> it's more divisions than Warno. And this game, if I'm not mistaken, was developed by a single guy. So he's already doing better than Eugene in that regard. Anyway, um, how about some third armored action? I'm going to play this round for 30 minutes. I'm going to keep everything as is, and we're going to go to battle. If you have any questions, then by all means, let me know, and I'll try to answer them either through looking for something in the game or the Regipedia. You have options. New objective received. All right, what we got? Oh, we already got a couple of units dug in. Oh, right, it's this mode. Yes, you need to capture and hold more than your enemy. So uh, you could translate that roughly to conquest. I am blue, so I'm starting over here and over there. The enemy starts... They start somewhere else. <laughs> I don't know. Where's their spawn? Can you not see their spawn? Huh. Well, they're going to start somewhere else, that's for sure. And these objectives, which zones you need to hold, are changing. So, let's say in Wargame, you grab a sector, you hold it, you dig in, and you don't want people to take it from you. In this case, you might have Alpha, um, but then after the 9 minutes shift, you need to change and you need to get into Echo. Or maybe you're in Bravo. And your infantry is doing really well in this tree line. They're nicely dug in. Yet, you find that you need to go into alpha. Shit. There goes your cover. These situations change, and that, I think, makes for some very interesting options. Now, on the bottom left here, I have deployment points. I have 550 of them. You can see this zero with the arrow next to it. That means that if a unit group dies, you can call in new units. Uh, the... the 
let's say the dead units points sort of slowly float back into your pool. And the dead unit also floats back into your pool. So if I take my M1s and I deploy them, and for some reason or another these M1s get destroyed, then the M1 group becomes available again, as well as the points that I need to buy the units become available again. We have 900 points of supplies, and I think you get a supply truck generally, but I'm not sure where mine is. At least you get one in the campaign. Um, I'm not exactly sure which zones I need to take, so I'm going to just go for uh, Fox and Echo, because they're the outmost sectors and the enemy's probably going to try the same thing. I'm assuming the enemy's coming from here, I'm not 100% on that. All these West German units that you can see, the Martyrs, they're, I don't know, stay-behinds of some sort? Might mean that the AI has more units. As for the graphics of the game, I really like it. Uh, I think these models look very, very nice. They also have the ability, especially the infantry ones, to dig in. So they have the ability to set up a sort of entrenchment, uh, even foxholes, if they have been given enough time to do so. All right. Let's go with the M2 as well. I need some fire support. You can see on the right-hand side everything you need to know about a unit. Speed, armor, uh, vision... They have night vision. I'm not sure when that is useful. There are probably night battles. I just haven't checked those out yet. You don't think there's a supply truck in engagement? Okay, that makes sense. Okay, let's call these in. Um, I'm not sure what the enemy is exactly doing. So let's call in a Vulcan as well. I want a gunship because these are really nice to have. And these are armed with um, missiles, rockets, and the autocannon. Just don't really want them looking that way, but whatever. Got 70 points left, which means I cannot buy anything. So this is what we get. If at any point you feel like you need to um, adjust something about your tactic, just hit spacebar, and you're going to go into pause menu, and you can adjust anything that you want. You can retreat your units to get them repaired and reloaded. Yes, um, excellent time to call that out. If you have a unit, I'm going to pause it. If you have a unit that's been badly damaged, you can call them out. I can retreat them. Uh, you got reverse move. That's not what I mean. This. If you hit Q twice, they're going to reverse. And they're going to get very quickly back to here. Where they're going to sort of dissolve. Um... They're going to leave the area of battle and you get the points back. So that means if you need to change, because the enemy doesn't have any helicopters at the moment, you can pull your Vulcan back and you can get the points back for the Vulcan. Which is nice because it allows you to have some different options to go with different units. In 3 minutes and 20 seconds I'm going to get a different battle group. I'm not exactly sure what this is, but I suspect it's going to mean that from here... Uh, either the enemy might come, or this is where the zones are going to get. If you use retreat correctly, you save their XP. Yes, this is also very important. Because saving their XP means that they maintain their veterancy, and as such, their um, upgrades, if you will. Alright. Being a single-player game, if you desire so, you can speed up the game. Uh, it goes either one times, two times, or stops entirely, or 0.25. If you really, really, really want to micro your units, then that's the way to do it. Right now I'm just getting into position, so let's go. You're going to go there, you're going to go here, you're going to take this. Since I'm just capping sectors, I don't really mind. Oh, they're an echo. Okay. Whoa! Calm down. Let's slow it down. Important, um, this is a Bradley group. The infantry... This is a great screenshot, by the way. The infantry is still inside. You need to manually get the infantry to leave your vehicle. They will not do it automatically. And if the infantry is inside the vehicle and it dies, well, tough luck, your infantry is dead. So, if you press X, change mode... They're going to disembark the infantry, and you can actually see them get popped out from their vehicles. And you need to be looking that way, people. We have T-55As over there, which is 
really fairly bad use of the infantry here. I'm trying to keep the M1s. Yeah, these guys are pulling back. T72 M1s have been retreated. The Cobras are doing great work pushing back the T55s. I've captured Alpha with the Vulcan. Oh, sorry, no, not with the Vulcan. With the tanks over here, and I have the Vulcan taking Gulf. There is a lot of shit coming this way. Let's pull the helos back. Let's pull the tanks back. I don't have enough um, combat support points, if you will, tactical support points to call in the artillery strike. The DPICM is artillery with, with cluster rounds, improved lethality against armored and targets in cover. Now my Bradleys have the capacity to launch tow missiles, and I'm hoping that these tow missiles will do enough damage. They have 19 AP, which means they'll be good enough to penetrate the enemy armor. These T-72s have, I believe, 16 armor. Pull the tanks back. Yeah, I want you guys to go back and rearm. T-80BVs. Okay, that is a problem. Against 19 armor with 19 AP, I only have 35% chance to damage them, if I'm reading this correctly. So that's a bit unfortunate. As well as these T-72s have calmed down enough. Oh, look, this guy's entrenched. Hold down. This is the little pit that he dug for himself. And it disappears when he starts moving. You can hardly hear me. Okay, let me adjust that. Um, I'm going to adjust the game sound a bit. Audio... Push that down. Okay. Now, my infantry is probably not going to have a great time here. The M1s don't have enough AP, but they're getting closer, I think. That doesn't matter for the missile. Can I see what these ADBVs have? Frontal armor, 16 out of 18. Maybe because they've been damaged. And... 17 turret armor. Right. Yeah, these tanks are going to be having a really tough time. I need my helos. Okay, let's evac the helos. Oh shit, I shouldn't have evac them. We're getting repaired. My bad. Okay. How long does this take to arrive? 15 seconds. Can I accurately guesstimate where this group is going to be? In 15 seconds. I'm thinking the answer will be not really. Same for the tanks. So I don't really like this support feature. Oh, they're down to one tank. Now every kill also gets you points. So right now I can get new vehicles in. And considering the state of affairs with 20 points until then, or 20 seconds until the next group is available, I'm not going to do that. Is I'm not seeing a whole lot of interior here. If I can call in an Apache, I will. Get him back. Okay, the Cobras have retreated. That means that I'm getting those points back. That's the 170 flowing back into my pool. As well as the Cobras will be available in 24 seconds. That's when I can call them in again. Okay, new task force available. Here we go. We can adjust these guys on the fly. So, what sort of battle group would be favorable for what I'm facing? What would I need? We've got group Rattlesnake, which has an Apache that has 23 AP. That'll kill any tank. It's also really expensive. Gives me more cluster bombs, so not terribly big of a fan. Um, Because I already have cluster bombs. Sort of. The call-in delay is three seconds faster. Whatever. I have the ability to call in AH-1Fs. That's 22 AP. That's a helicopter team. A-10 guided missiles. That would be nice. That would be nice. And I also have the M-3, which has the ITOs. This is a reconnaissance group. Better visuals than everybody else. Mm, this is not interesting. I don't need an artillery group. I don't need that artillery group. These guys do fire DPICM. So that's cluster munition. M2s could be helpful in a longer run, but considering the open battlefield, I'm thinking either tanks, so M101HA, or helos. And I think that 
something like uh, hammers being suggested. Recon with hammer group. Oh, right. So use Team Voodoo. Um, I have the M3 recon and have these guys slug it out. We have an armor task force here. That's M60s. I'm sorry, that's too old. Recon task force. That's an M3 group and M1 main battle tank group. M1IPs guided missiles. No, we're going to go with the Voodoo Hilo team. Call in. Now I immediately get the accessibility of more helicopters as well as the A-10 guided strike. I still don't exactly know where the enemy is going to be. Uh, I do know my Vulcans are in a bit of an adventurous lifestyle. So let's pull these back into cover. Um, something else that you have in this game, if you hold C, you can see the visual line of sight tool. It shows you the ranges, it also shows you everything that war game doesn't. And if I park my Vulcans in here, they will not see much, but they'll also not be seen. Uh, and they'll definitely not be shot at, so let's have them reverse. And over here, I have some issues with the MP2s. I think my tanks, oh, sorry, my Bradleys are going to be very dead very quick. Very dead very quick. So be it. These guys are down to 29% durability. That's not very good. Yeah, let's call in the AH-1F. And aside from that, how many tanks you got left here? One? Three? Fuck. Okay. Uh, yeah, just generally over there, and you can seek out your own target. Bradley has been destroyed. That's unfortunate. I right now hold two objective points versus the enemy's one, so I'm getting points faster than they are. If I can retreat into Bravo, I might be able to make something work. Here comes the A-10. And the A-10 get it, did its uh, nice guided strike. It's not a gunrunner, but it did the damage that I wanted. The ADBVs are panicked. One, if not two, have been destroyed. And the Cobras are not done yet. Oh, they almost got it. They almost got it. Now, I would like to get more infantry here. Let's get another group in while the other group cycles. See, my destroyed unit is slowly but steadily cycling back. Sadly, I don't have the ability to call in a resupply unit, a logistics unit. So I'm going to have to make something else work. I want the tanks to start sitting here. Dig in. And now there's a lot of BMPs. Now a tank would be nice to have. Yeah, we've got three sectors. They have one. Come on, I need one point. There we go. Got the tank. AH-1Fs are down to 16% of main ammo. They're almost out. Are they going to get it? No. What you got left? Do you see these missiles being expended or not? I think you do. Because these tubes look empty to me. Where's your friend? There. Yeah, I think they're fresh out of tow missiles. Okay, let's pull the AH-1Fs back. We have the AI presently on the run. That's good. Get the Bradleys. Actually, get the Bradleys over here. I want them over here to make sure that I can start preparing for when it seemingly this circle is going to go live. Tanks are still dealing with something. Sure. If I can afford the M3 recon, I'll definitely grab that as well because they're very valuable. Okay, the M1s are going to be in position. Considering the battlefield is going to shift here in the next three minutes and I have this more or less under control, I feel it would be great if I can capture Foxtrot, but I want to start prepping my forces to go here. AH-1F, I main ammo 100. Okay, you're going to sit over there and wait for their orders. You, I want you to drop off. And you're going to look that general direction. To make sure that if anything comes out, we'll be dug in, so we'll be in a forest. It gives me more defense bonus. And we'll be able to start flinging HGMs at people. Oh, here we go. Can you see that? You cannot. It's unfortunate. Zone captured. Okay. 
Box is captured. We're getting indirect fire from over there. I don't know how good the AI is about moving their forces. We're about to find out. Alpha is being countercapped. I don't have the points for a guided strike. That would have been so nice to have here. There is a Shilka, though. We get something here. Nice visual effect. Sadly, I suspect no kills. Oh. We weren't even done yet. Wow, that's a lot of cluster. Okay. Definitely getting shot at by the tanks again. Let's have the fast guys do something about that. Give me an M3. I need a recon. Oh, it's TADUDs. Fun is about to commence. This is high end shit and really expensive. There are three of them in a group, and I'm essentially not dealing any kind of damage. That's nice. Can you pen this, please? Pretty please? I got a new task force. I know. Oh, yes. They're gone. So that's 63 points. A few of them. Oh, sorry. I, no, I don't think you get points for kills. All right, new task force. Um... What's the battlefield looking like? Like we needed infantry. And probably tons and tons of infantry. Right now I have two units. Two Bradleys. I know that they have at least three. And potentially more. Okay. So infantry is what I'm looking for. We got assault engineers. We got fire supports. Which means they get an auto grenadier. Oh, sorry, auto grenade launcher, machine gun, rifleman, rifleman... Bunch of engineers, law, S option. Mechanized task for National Guard. Hell no. Let's see, infantry and chaparral. I haven't seen any helicopter of theirs yet. I'm not sure if it's going to be something that I need right now. I still have my Vulcan on the field, so I can use that if I so desire. Would be nice to see the A-10 gun run. The infantry is extremely expensive. For one unit, I can get the assault engineers and the fire support. I think Coyote might be better. Let's take Coyote. Now there's once again a new task force in 4 minutes and 45 seconds. I am ahead. I have 194 points and I'm ticking. They are not. Yet they are doing... A lot of work trying to get their units back. Trying to get more sectors. I'm not going to try and kill this Shilka because there might be more infantry around. Here's the M3 recon group. Again, I think the units look very nice, even with this backpack on the side of the Bradley. These look a little suppressed. Okay, they're getting back. You guys have spent half your ammo. Go back and resupply. This M1 group. You guys are still shelling me. I'm going to pull the infantry back. Let's get the assault engineers and the fire supports out there. Focus on the new objectives. Oh yes. See? All the sectors here are gone. So now you're playing a whole new game on the other side of the map. Yet, my forces are stuck on the left. Well, sort of stuck. I'm pulling the M1s back, trying to get them repaired. Uh, the Vulcan's going to take Bravo because it's the least dangerous area. We're going to get... We're going to get... We're going to get... We're going to get the tanks in here. That's where they're going to fast move. We're going to get the M3s to sit there. Yeah, new plan. I'm going to get the M3s to sit there and I'm going to get the tanks to sit here. At least for now. They can't see anything yet, but I need them to capture that. And the rest of the infantry. Helos are still cycling, so that's fine. You guys can move here as fast as you can. So, what's your guys' impression so far? 
What do you think? Is this something that you would be interested in playing yourself? Is it something that you go, hell no, uh, I don't like this? Let me know. I'm interested in your opinion. Resupplying. 80, 90. Done. Now, these guys are now trained. I'm not exactly sure how good the veterancy bonuses are. I still need to look into that, but I think it has to deal with accuracy for the least bit. For a one-man band, very impressive. Yes, I agree with that. Oh, shit. AH1Fs, that's tanks. That's ADBVs, again. And they're about to kick us in the back. What's the... Oh, there's more. I mean, A10 guided strike. This is an expensive group, if I'm not mistaken, so this needs to die. Because it's going to take the AI some time to get back while I'll start capturing sectors. You, get over there. You get over there. Here comes the A-10. That's one dead. Shilka is starting to deal damage to the A-10s. There goes the last tank. Very nicely done. I want you to engage the Shilka. We have 19 AP. They have one side armor. I see opportunities here. Oh, but these guys are really badly damaged. Shit, and we're getting already again. Okay, pack up. An attack move there. So Charlie's captured. Means we're going to sit here, looking that way. Vulcans to Alpha. Assault Engineers to here. No, to there. Uh, this fire support unit can capture this. There's the Shilka. Kill it! No. Okay. Are these in once fixed yet? Almost. I'm going to pull them back entirely because then they'll be fully recycled. And same for these infantry units here. Uh, I need these M3s to push there. I'm going to try as many objectives as quickly as possible. I have 140 points. You guys could do with another resupply. For no other reason than we can. Hello. There's a lot of you. There's a lot of you. This is problematic. I might have overextended. Are you seriously suppressing a tank? Wow. What is this worth under? Come on, if we have alpha, we're going to pull this guy right back. Because this is really dangerous for a non-combat unit. Well, I mean, it's a combat unit, just not like that. Uh, the M3s are now emplaced, which is buffering their defense bonus. It's just that I put them in a fairly god-awful position, because now they can't see anything. <sighs> They're down to 2% durability. <laughs> GTFO. <laughs> You're dead. Come on. Oh, is that... Is that Shoka still around? Yeah, we're gonna DPICM uh, this. Just in general. You guys are ready. Oh, I got 400 points. I'm floating way too much. Give me another tank. Give me another AH-1F. New task force available. Okay, we get one more task force, I think, and then we're done. Gotta pick wisely. Considering the battlefield is gonna shift to here, I prepared for that with getting new infantry. What would you guys like to see? Let me know. In chat, what battle group, uh, sorry, task force do you think I should add? Let me know, and I'll pick that one. Let's check. I still don't like the mechanized task force Havoc. Maybe 363. A10 gun run, M2s. Already, yeah, okay. Hammer group, M3, A2 recons, heavy armor, and the CEV. Oh, CEV could be really funny in the forest if it lives long enough to fire off a shot. Apaches, 
Task Force Sundance. Sundance being the M1A1 and the M1A1HA. This could probably go toe to toe with enemy armor. It's tight though, it's 19 AP. Hammer for point defense. Okay, yep. Agreed. I think Hammer currently has the most flexibility, especially with the recon ability. Allows you to see where enemy are, and then immediately I can hammer them with another uh, support ability. So that would give me options. Let's go with this. Okay, uh, now I now don't have any further task forces, so this is it. And what I really like about this is that my deck is expanded in the middle of the battle. That gives you a lot of flexibility. Now this is a problem. This is a problem. I have 15 AP, they have 16 armor, I can't pan that. Uh, the Vulcans are in full retreat. We got the AH-1F, we got the tanks coming out. Come on, kill this. Use the cluster. Oh, you need to get your ass back. Kill it. They're gonna start taking a lot of damage right about now. They're moving. Yeah, they're not waiting around for that. Shame about no multiplayer, yeah. I think in multiplayer, there could be this whole meta about what sort of group you want to build, what... Um, how should I put it? What works well, what does not... You guys just start moving here. We're going to have to start ambushing these guys because there are a lot of them. I don't really care about the BMP-2s, but they are pushing my point. These AH-1Fs are engaging the T-72s. Yeah, guys, you're not going to like it, but I'm going to task you with taking Foxtrot. I need one more zone. And now I have the recon available. I just want to get a better timing for when I want to deploy that. Yeah, my recon group died. Shit. Okay, let's call in a new one. M3A2. Over there. Oh, these have a problem. These also have a problem because we're getting engaged. By anti-air. Here. What's that? Shilka? Shilka. Double Shilka. Drop off! You're going to find yourself on 144 meters from a tank. Your life is about to become very interesting. Look at this. Unfortunate, this infantry. <laughs> I don't know if they're capable of dealing any kind of damage. No. Really not. Unless we get to the side. Move! Move! Get to the side. Yeah, I don't think they're gonna move anywhere. Oh, we're getting attacked by cluster. What is that? Phosphorus? Oh shit. Get back, get back, get back. That whole group here got murdered. Holy! We got helos. We got a job for the Vulcans. The enemy has three zones. This is starting to get concerning. Are you guys still at it? You are. Okay. Um, let's pull in some heavy firepower. I'm gonna wanna check. Need you guys to move up. You go there, you go here. You go there. Vulcan. There is still some shit coming in. I can't see anything, go there. Vulcan, here. I really don't wanna have assault engineers come in. Oh, there is the helo. What's my range? 2800 against a helicopter. So that puts you just outside of range. You're gonna be one unhappy helo, but this tree line's in the way. There we go. Here's the Vulcan firing. Helicopters are some unhappy campers. Yeah, they're taking a massive kicking here. That's one of them down. I know I should probably focus on the battle more, but I do also like the visual effects. Don't get stuck in with infantry at short range. 
you're gonna have a bad time. But the Vulcans might be very nice here. The Vulcans might have a better time. Wait, you guys killed the tanks? No way. No, that's BMPs. Uh, we're gonna evac you. These tanks are not terribly healthy, but okay. You guys are fine. Don't get your ass shot off from the flank, please. I'm gonna resupply you. We're gonna get you back into the field. Are the Shilkas dead? Or no? Something I would rather like to know. Oh, it's more UDs. Oh boy, but we have a side shot. They're just blindly charging in. Maybe literally, actually. Maybe they are blind. I mean, area recon. I want to see what else is out there. I really don't care for your reconnaissance or for your HQ unit. That needs to die. Counter push. Go for this. Kill this. Oh, you can kill the BMP too. Kill it. Kill it. Where's the firepower? Here's the firepower. I'm gonna NHA. Go. I have nothing back. Alright, I have 120 points. Let's get them to an infantry here. Because in 10 seconds, we're shifting. So I'm gonna pull these guys all the way back. And these. These are good. Here we go. We're back to the left. We are back to the left. Okay. You're gonna resupply over there. You're gonna go here. Crap. <sighs> Crap. We need to get these guys repositioned and fast. Yet the enemy is also doing that. And, moreover, they might be in my way. So that you cannot capture a zone with helos, but I understand why that design decision was made. 41 points. I'm slowly ticking up, yet not very quickly. Show me what's in here, so I know what I'm sending my tanks into. Nothing. No, not nothing. That's moving really quite quick. Whatever it is, start shooting it. Apparently you can missile it. That's nice. I have some tree line cover. I lost them. He had a no ammo. Okay, get back in here. AH1Fs, support. T-80BVs. Fun. Start killing that. They're capping Foxtrot. No, you're not. We got AP 23 AP and you got 17 armor. You're about to have a bad time. Okay, zone captured. Um, let's go aggressive. Even if it's just infantry. A okay, 10 flies in. Kills all the tanks. Beautiful. Well done. You have... Almost no ammo. Get back. What do I got here? Vulcan. Get going. Their durability is being restored. Same for the M1s. It's going to take a while. There we go. Now they're cycling. These are having a bad time. They're 100% suppressed, which means they're panicked. Their accuracy is only a, 30, a third of what it used to be. But they're still counter-capping. That's important. Okay. Alpha's being captured. My M3 is available. Yes, they are. M1s, let's go. These are now in place. I like that. Let's deploy. It's not great strictly for infantry here, but it will do the trick. Zone okay, we're going to pull these guys out of Fox. So if I can keep them here, that would be a very nice overwatch. We got the M2s engaging. Side armor. Oh, they're getting side shots. Glorious. This is not glorious. This needs to maintain its frontal armor towards the enemy. The R key is critical in this game. Reverse move. Keep your strongest armor towards the enemy. Or you're going to regret your life choices. 
something out there. Dead. Means you probably expended most of your ammo. What's this? BMPs. Kill them before they capture. M2s have not yet had a time to dig in, but they're in a forest, so they're a bit more defensive. Oh, it's the T-72s. These guys are almost out. Let's get these guys resupplied. You can move. Go there. You can move. You can pull back. I want these M1s to sit here. I don't really have the idea that fast move does a whole lot. It just seems to make the unit beeline for the enemy, for the, the, the position that you want it to go. So I'm not really under the impression that it does a whole lot. They're suppressed again. H1F's engaging. BMPs should be dead. I have three zones, they have one. So far... Well, I played Bomber Crew. I didn't like it much. I think I put a video or two up about that. No. I'm going to have to send some infantry here because this is going to get out of hand. BTR. Just cap that. No, actually, you guys cap that. You cap this. These... Might need some help. The Bradleys, they also use the auto cannon. Hello. Zone lost. Box lost. Two to one. Oh. Start killing that. Plenty targets. You can only gain vehicles back. Oh crap. I need to pull these guys away from the battle and then resupply them. When you double Q them, so when you re uh, what do you call that? When you retreat them, they do actually pop smoke. Zone captured. Okay, we got three zones. They have one. Want this Vulcan somewhere generally in the middle. I want you to cycle. I want you to go forward. These AH1Fs have been largely uncon. Oh shit! Largely uncontested. I didn't even see that we we're going to get any orders. Pay attention. Okay, so you're going to capture this. You guys are going to capture that. Now we're definitely doing forest fighting. You're going to have to go and intercept this tank. No, thank you. Orient yourself towards the threat. You can't kill that. You're going to need support. This is side armor. We can pen side armor. When IPs are under attack, yeah, go figure. Helos. Vulcans, get in there. Attack move. UDs are on the retreat. Captured. Uh, we're going to drop off. We're going to attack move into Alpha. These M1s are having a really bad day. Five minutes remaining. So far, I'm two to one. Not very concerned. Go on. Kill this. Will I play War on the Sea anymore? No, not likely. I really didn't like that game. At least back in the day, it had a ton of bugs. Really didn't like it. Okay, I got a lot of points. Let's get... What's your range? 16... No, 1400 meters with a 165. I'd rather get more infantry. You guys are empty. Pull, cycle, start murdering the BVs. Missile strike, got one. Yeah, those tanks had a bad day. Okay, so far, two sectors, they got one. Pull these M1s back. Pull the NTR back. You guys are in a really nice place to flank and protect Charlie. Keep doing that. You're going to move up. Nice tow missile. Is that going to hit? No. BVs. 
Set yourself up here. Get you to evac. Get you to assist. Oh, we're gonna pack up the infantry and we're gonna go there. Here's the other M2 group. Still two to one. So far, so good. ADBV is taking missile fire from the Bradleys. They should be able to kill this. Or at least inflict some serious damage on it. I'm also concerned that these guys will do the Bradleys in just as quick. Yes. I like that. Okay, drop off. Take the forest. The Vulcan over here. These Cobras really have been instrumental. Okay, let's get the M101HAs back. Zone captured. Nice side shot. You need to get your ass out of here. Can we get him? Oh, almost. Missile lost. Okay. Okay. Adjust with your counterpart. We're now on four sectors. They're going to have to work pretty hard to get more sectors, but I suspect they might be going to... F they are in Foxtrot. Shit. Okay, in that case, we're going to go through the forest. We're going to RT this. You guys are having a bad day. Go back. Okay, H1 support. I'm going to one HAs. Here. It's going to give me the most options. Drop. The BMP2s might be dead to the artillery. What's that? More BMPs. That was BRMs. Oh, we're getting flanked hard. You know, they're definitely not sticking around to see how much damage I can do with that artillery strike. Can I show off the artillery? Um, yes, if I got enough points for it. Let's pull these guys away, because they're about to be dead anyway. I don't know if they're going to be able to blind shoot there. One minute remaining. No, it doesn't matter. I don't think I'm going to be able to show off artillery in this particular round, but I will be able to in the next. Get an A10 in here, since we only got 60 seconds left. Oh, you made a mistake there, dude. Tank drove right into my ambush. And look at these. The Bradleys and the guys are all entrenched. Foxtrot. Foxtrot? Alpha is completely secure. That tank thought it could drive into the forest. This is why you don't drive into the forest with a tank. Cobra is low. Yeah, you've been killing a whole battle group almost by yourself. Let's get back. Let's get you back. 17 seconds. We're pretty much done. So that's a game. A skirmish game. And the constant changing of spawn points makes this very interesting. Because you're never quite sure where you're going to go next. And I really like that. If you look at uh, kills versus losses, I had 67 dead, they had 103. Uh, lots and lots of wounded, which I believe means that you can still heal up a group. And they might have done that. I have 11 men missing. <laughs> I like this stat, I just don't know what it means. So total, uh, 310 casualties my side, 483 their side. But more importantly, they lost a lot of tanks. 82 vehicles were destroyed versus my 33. When it comes to helicopters lost, I lost none. All helicopters survived. MLIPs, I think they did a decent amount of work. And these are just general engagements of what happened when. Oh, this BMP2 group did quite a lot of work against my Bradleys, my 113s, and my MIPs. Yeah. Now this is 
potentially a little weird to read as I was a bit confused. If it is red, it means the enemy has killed you. This is a red kill, so an enemy kill. If you're looking at a blue line, it means somebody else, an enemy unit, has been killed. It's a bit counterintuitive, but that's how that works. So if you see blue lines, it's good. If you see red lines, it's bad. And I'm not sure why it's this color. Oh, maybe it's one of those stay behind forces. Like the, the initial deployments on the map. Maybe that's it. So, first skirmish successful. How did the Vulcan do? Uh, pretty well, but you don't really get an overview of per unit, I think. All right. How about an operation? Hmm... Keep in mind, this is work in progress. Uh, not all operations are possible. You cannot access all of them. I have dissonance over here. Rogue elements of the 4th MSD have carved out a nest around Eisenach and are now gathering forces. Empowered by the state of emergency, the 7th Panzer Division is tasked to root out the rebels. This is going to be a situation where you have a sort of growing battle group over a larger campaign which is interesting because it's it's going to allow you to adapt to the whole situation we're gonna go with standard we're gonna go to battle and um yeah let me show you this this is what i have in my current group my current regiment the 16th pan pan yeah, 16th panzer regiment and i have 272s I have BTRs with infantry and infantry with a tank, which means that these guys also have any tank, but these guys, I believe, have more. They get two recordless rifles. Then we have Sani, which are mortars, Shilka, and the Mi-24P, which is pretty much the counterpart to the AH-1F that we just saw, as well as supplies. Rearm and repair on the go. We get artillery smoke and we get a heavy arty. Now, over here, I have 150 points. I can deploy these as I see fit, which means I can go with more deployment points. So I can have more deployment uh, or more units deployed on the field. I can get my tactical supports to be used more often. So if I invest 50 points, we're going to go from a 10% bonus in reloads to 20% and so forth. I can get more supplies or I can get an additional battle group or um, task force rather. So you can get Armor Task Force with T-55s. You can get a group of BMP-1s, which is a mechanized task force. You can get BRM-1K Reconnaissance Group. These guys see faster, uh, move faster, hide better. And generally, I think if they're not... Um, if they're not strictly supposed to fight, you can turn off their weapons. You can tell them not to shoot anything, not to give their position away. Then we have BTRs and we have command units. These are BTRs with uh, radios, I think. I guess. Um, might be useful. I haven't tried them yet. For now, what I would like is to just be able to deploy a lot more units. So we're going to go to events. And I'm going to start here with the meeting engagement. Then we're going to move to um, the attack. And then we're going to move to another attack. Sometimes you have pre-battle deployment. If you have pre-battle deployment, that means that you can deploy engineer support. And you can uh, you can sort of throw down barricades, something like that. Operations log in the top right is uh, what is happening. It's sort of the campaign lore. So first there's Discord. Um, there is some sort of breakdown in morale, some sort of breakdown in discipline. Not everyone in the 4th MSD was easily swayed to the new cause. A company worth of troops is still fighting near Lauterbach. Break the encirclement and help them hold out. So there's definitely some sort of civil war thing going on. Then we got the Freie Deutsche Republik. I'm having a hard time finding any mention of how this name came to be. Was it a reference to Es lebe die Freie Deutsche Republik from the proclamation of the Republic from 1918? Anyway, the Republic was as enigmatic as its name. No central authority, no major leaders. It was more of an idea that spread like wildfire among diverse groups and military formations 
along with its simple but memorable heraldry. So that's how this whole revolution came to pass. I don't care, we're going to squash it. Events are something that happen in, all, uh, in every battle that you fight, and sometimes they're good, sometimes they're bad. Currently, I have air superiority, so that means that my aerial tactical aids, uh, which I don't have, and I don't believe helicopters count, are twice as cheap. Which is nice, but it doesn't really help me. Let's see. Okay, we are going to be starting all the way on the edge here. And the more sectors that I capture, um, more points I get. These are the command points that I had at the start of the battle. So that means that these are the things that increase my operational points. And you can see that I get more per phase. Uh, phase one, I believe it's 20 minutes, then we're going to go to a new battle, phase two, phase three, etc. Oh, I do get anti air. Oh, sorry, air support. SG 25 rockets. That's really nice. Okay. I need to capture these sectors, these sectors, and I need to make sure that these guys are broken out of sorts. Because these are still my allies. So these are the ones that I need to save. Right. Um, 800 points, I think 272. Um, I think I might be able to call in everything, in fact. So let's call in the T-72s. Let's call in the BRDM. That's the recon group. Let's get infantry, because we're going to be clearing the town here, and we're going to be clearing the forest there. So both infantry units. I really like the MI-24s. I desperately need supplies. Yeah, I can call in everything. Okay, great. Very nice. T-72s to there. Other T-72s to there. BRDMs uh, to here. And I need you guys not to shoot. Hold your fire. Yeah, my allies here are coming under attack. T-55s there. They're just going to have to hold because I'm not in a position to help them yet. Everybody start moving. My 24s hold until you have a better target. We're already getting shot at. There. This is an infantry group, I think. No, it's a cavalry tank. It was a cavalry tank. PT-76, we're getting AGGMs from here. Let's soften them up a little. Even the Shilkas are suppressing. I do not need my supplies going into battle. Okay, go. There you go. These are about to have a really rough time. Okay, what I can do is put... No. What the hell? I want to put these on a hotkey, which you, what the, which you can do, there. It's an HGM vehicle, it's an HGM group in fact, and I'm not really in favor. We're going to drop off, we're going to kill them off. I need you to start shooting that. I don't need the tanks to go into the town, thank you very much. I need you to move up. I need you to move up. Supplies to move up. We're going to take this first town, Bischofoda. You've taken some damage, but you haven't lost a unit. Uh, go resupply that. Go resupply. Mm. Are you guys dropped off? You are. Okay. Good man. You? Yeah, you as well. Okay, we need to clear these guys out. The M24Ps are out of ammo. Let's get them back. BDMs to there to scout. I don't want to push in here just yet because there might be something looking at me. Wait, 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 wait. You're supposed to go back. Go back, go back. BMP1 with riflemen. See if the rocket strike will do anything useful this time. Very nice. That's one. I'm going to resupply the units as they are needed. Mm. 
Oh, they wiped out some riflemen. Okay, I want to get this rifleman unit to start moving up. So pull them back into the vehicles. Let's go. You can see, by the way, if they're deployed or not. You got these little chevrons, the four arrows pointing in that general direction. That's the vehicles. And if you see these little dots behind them, that's the infantry as well. Why are my Sami suppressed? That's the artillery, damn it. That's not supposed to happen. Now, the supply units, as opposed to war game, can only resupply one unit at a time. So, if you want a particular unit to get repaired over anything else, make sure that you have it uh, as the only unit within the repair circle, within the support circle. These guys are in a prepared position. We're going to have to hit them with Artie, and we're going to have to hit them with the Rifleman at fairly short range. Go. We to clear them out. There's four riflemen left. Go. What's that? Could be infantry. Shoot that. T-72s, move. BADMs, start setting up somewhere else. No riflemen is just, what, one vehicle? Yeah, it's just one vehicle. Ah, oh, there's more. How nice. That's what we're shooting with the artillery. Good lord, what's taking so long? It's one BMP. Not even sitting there. There you go. Okay, uh, I'm going to pull these guys slightly back and resupply them. Tanks to push up. That was pretty decent. Pretty decent attack run there. Now, as opposed to what you have in the skirmish, task forces, you cannot get that here in um, the campaign. That doesn't work like that. Drop off. Hit these with a heavy arty. I got no infantry left. It's just one BTR. I'm going to push in. We're going to kill it. Tank to move up. Can't see anything here, really. I would very much like to see what's in Charlie. Ah, oh, it's a BDM. But you guys can't kill it because you can't see it. Go here. T-72s then, there. Having a line of sight tool is so nice. If only they would upgrade the war game engine to have this. Done. Okay, Grove is about to be captured. These guys are ready. Let's pull them back into the vehicles. Get them over there. And let's not push without infantry support here. Thank you very much. That's asking for disaster. Go there. Let's see. Can you queue up orders? Um, I'm just trying that now. So I told the unit to go here and then drop off. Let's see if it'll actually do that. Looks like an infantry group. Oh, time to drop. Something here that I don't strictly like. Eh. Could be worse, could be better. You guys are dropped off or no? Oh, we're too close together. We're one massive artillery target now. Drop off. Now the guys are out. Yeah, the arty is doing nice work reducing the amount of infantrymen there. And the tanks to push. And the supply to keep the infantry alive. This is not great. Not sure if I can engage this group or win from this group instantly. Right, hit them with the S25s again. They're out of riflemen, they're out of riflemen. That's tanks. Get in here. What? You guys are getting suppressed? Really? Are we still struggling with one BTR? Two BTRs. Yeah, because they're completely boxed in, dug in. 
Okay, the Sonny's been destroyed? Oh shit! Oh shit, we're getting counterattacked. I must have missed a notification, but we're getting counterattacked. Okay. Um, that's fairly bad news. Hit this with the SU-25. These are not mine. We're gonna capture Charlie, we're gonna capture Farm. Shilka dead. That's why my SU-25s were getting annoyed. Hit him. Nice work. Come on. Wiped out. Good. Tanks, group up, resupply. You. Evac. You guys are doing okay. You guys are capturing. Very nice. Tanks are getting healed. Good. These things cycle so fast. 90 seconds. So there's tanks here, huh? Great. Pack up. We're mobile. I'm gonna capture as many zones as possible so I have a lot more options for the next turn. Go. Go. Go here, here. Yeah, so you, you can queue up orders like this. What? There's already there. Let's hit it with my already. We're gonna try and sneak through the forest, drop off the infantry just before we hit hill 90. Which strictly isn't a hill. And then we're gonna push these guys out. Enemy Hello, boys. I suppose you guys are dug in? Yeah, prepared position. Still the tanks over here. But we're bouncing off for now. You guys can assist. These suppliers can help. Come on, kill the T-55s. Quick about it. Let's call in the Sony again, get the Shilka back. I completely forgot about my helos. Oh god, these could have made my life so much easier. That wipes out the infantry nicely. See? Tanks are getting killed. Perfect. Nice. Hill 90 captured. Let's go. Zone captured. What? You guys think you're running? I think you're misguided. No survivors. Sorry. Ever started doing that Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts campaign, I've gotten a bit darker. Okay. So far so good. Oh, so far so good. Not really. Shoot this. I'm gonna resupply these guys and then have them. De oh crap! Deal with that. Are my Sony back? They're only back to two out of six. What the hell? They get engaged on the way here or something. Oh, we're gonna keep pushing. Back up, you boys, and let's go to the facility. Why are you not supplying? Are you guys locked in combat or something? Stop. Yeah, that's it. They're in combat. You cannot resupply an active combat unit, I think. Hit this with the rocket pods. Finding the BRDMs to be terribly useful. Come on, it's one BTR-7. You can almost run it over with a tank. Regards from Poland. Thanks for the great confident. Hi, Heaven. Thank you. Yep, they're running. Stop. Go. And try and bypass this position and then drop off. Drop. I'm gonna keep going. I wanna get these guys exposed. Yeah, this will do. 
This should make it easier for me to get rid of these vehicles in the infantry. Shooting them up from all different positions. Okay, go, go. Perfectly healthy, go. Supplies, let's go. Tanks, let's go out there. Boom, dead. Okay, um, you guys. You deployed? No, you're not. Great, let's move. We're gonna go to clearing. Supplies, here. Facilities being captured. Sani don't look very healthy. See, at some point your supply lines are going to be very, very, very long. Because they're going to start all the way over there. And you might want to have your units over there, which is just about the other side of the map. It takes them a while to get there. So plan accordingly. Let's get these guys and the BTRs here ready to assault Naza. Yeah, we're going to try and clear out this clearing. Fuck off. Oh shit, there's NTR there. We have heavy artillery in that position. They're not damaged. These are my 24s, they can still fight. We have these guys supplied. Let's move the shield cutter there. What? Oh, you're down to 44% ammo. Okay. Greetings from Germany. Hi from Brazil. Hey guys, Adriel from Brazil. And Alex, Germany. Thank you so much for the great content. Thank you. Appreciate it. Wait, what? Shit, they're counterattacking. T-72s, get your ass back here. They're counterattacking. If they can capture the farm, they can capture the grove. Shit. Okay, get going. These guys are getting a bit more aggressive than I was expecting. You start spotting everything there. I'm still not very convinced that this position is clear. Yeah, see? that. Same plan, bypass it. Tanks go forward. You go to the flank. You piss them off from the flank as well. Do these guys have infantry with our NTR? Yeah, they got one NTR guy. No idea whether he's dead or not. But I believe that does matter in this game. Drop. Can't have them die inside their vehicle. What's happening here? Not much. These riflemen are really stuck. Yeah, there goes the grove. They're capping that as well. Come on, get in there. You guys resupply. At least the helos can get there fairly swiftly. Get in here. Go. Let's get the BRDMs involved as well. Shield cut to there. Oh, they're gonna counterattack. I don't know where. Most likely here or here, because they spawn from there, and... Yeah, that's it. They just spawn from here. So if I can stop the tidal wave coming down from there, that'd be great. So you guys are going to go in here. You're going to go in here. The Shilka's going to go there. Yeah, we're going to have to push with these tanks. Go there. Supply, help them out. Capture the clearing. So they didn't actually put anything down at the farm. They're just kind of capping it. Hello. Let me contact. If there's one, there's usually more. Drop. No, sorry, that's pick up. Drop. Hit that with the rockets. Yeah, fun times. That's smoke screens. Means the tanks are out of the fight. So is the Shilka. Oh shit. We got issues. I need my helos back. 
We also got the Sawney here. Start shooting the end here. Start shooting this. Oh, this is not good. This is really not so good because I'm completely pincered between these. I need you to do something fairly dangerous, and that is to attack this point all by yourself. While the riflemen still get ready to go there. Go. This is bad. They're down to about 4%. I'm going to evac all of these. These infantrymen are pretty much done for. Evac them. Look at that. They got a ton of units here. There. This is not good. They're going to capture the farm. <sighs> Shit. And they haven't here. I can call my units back in in a minute. And these have just been completely decimated. That's nice. Or they're still retreating. Whichever it is, it's not good. Zone lost. Yeah, I lost the farm to them. Speed up a little while I'm waiting for my units to get into position. Oh, hello. Hello. How about you fuck off? I don't need my tanks to be receiving this particular treatment. Nice position, by the way, next to that building. Really well done. Fall back. Okay, I need you to go here and here. Drop. Get these guys from the rear. Wipe out this group. Do it quickly. What? They're attacking this as well? Wow. I might have overextended. By a lot. Come on, get this. They haven't capped farm. But they capped facility, they capped grove. Shit. Uh, let's get the BODMs involved. Oh, they're about to capture this as well? Wow. I definitely overextend it. Move. Get there, you're gonna get support from Artie and or SU-25s. These tanks are not useful at the moment. So don't rely on them. Drop off. Get this. Uh, you go here. These are about to have a really rough time. Origin, there. Oh, you're going into a town fight with very little fire support. I don't envy you at all. Situation here. Shilkas and PT-76s. It's all cheap garbage, but it's a lot of cheap garbage. Oh, crap. This guy's single-handedly taking down the group. Come on, capture Natsa. Won't be easy, but we gotta get it done. Let's see, here's the airstrike. Oh, that was doing quite well. Forty-five seconds. Come on, get in there. Cap it. Healers are under attack. Full back. Zone capture. Really quite attached to my healers. There we go. We got Natsu. We got this one. The far one. Very good. We also got the town here. That increased the amount of time that I have by a little bit. Pull the infantry back inside and let's go. You guys get back there, get fixed. Sonny's get back here. 
Uh, I think I can't counter cap and cap in 20 seconds, but I'm willing to try. Yes, three, two, one, done. Okay. Um, vehicles lost. 16 for my side, 62 for them. Dead. 135 on my side, 412 for them. So far, not bad. So far, not bad. Okay, next phase. Or you can retry, but this is not too bad. I can make this work. Okay, and I have 183 points. I can convert these to other types of points. First, I'm going to heal everybody back up. I'm going to restore the units. It's going to cost me quite a few points. Um, BMP1s with riflemen might not be a bad idea. It's an okay gun. 73mm gun. Anti-air, some damage against helos if they really have to. And just stacks of infantry with anti-tank and anti-air are nice. So let's get the mechanized task force in. Then with the rest of the points, I can't do that much, but let's get some supplies. Okay, the events. Um, phase lasts for five more minutes. All right. Let's do that then. New objective received. Now, what happens when you go back into a next phase, or when you go into a next phase, is that your units remember where they were. They remember where they were, which for me is really favorable, because my units were in fairly decent positions to attack Grove and Farm and Facility, but now they're healed up. So I have a lot more to work with. And that is nice. So we're going to push these guys in. We're going to push these guys in. We're going to have the BRDMs support if they can. Shilkas and MA24Ps are also ready to go. The Sani have been healed up. Um, I want these guys to start pushing on this. And I want these guys to start packing up. I had a beautifully prepared position, but I'm sorry. Hello, Rifleman. Engage these. I pass them. That's the Sony. Oh, the, the game even remembers what hotkey I had. So for the mortars, the Sony, I had hotkey 3. It even remembers that. So it just sort of saves the state of the game. No, thank you. I don't need an already support. Not the enemy kind. Fuck off. Bypass the enemy position. Drop off. Start wiping them out. Yeah, you better run. Done. Okay, capture this. There's their Sony. <laughs> Two armor. BRDM with his little machine gun can't quite shoot that. Or can't quite pen that. But side armor, yes. <laughs> okay, let's get the tanks back. Move. Choke us to there. I'm a 24 piece. Resupply. Go. Sonic to move up. We got these going here. Oh, I can't afford. Counter attack coming from here. So the ones again gonna try and go for farm probably. Or Nodza if they're feeling aggressive. Hey, don't do that. Uh, we're flanking these instantly. Heavy already? Origin? Whatever, level the whole complex. Go. Where's my supply? Hello? Oh, there. Shit. It's way out of position. Another 2 to 4. Hold on. That's a lot. Pull these guys back. I'm going to get my supplies from all the way on the left and send them there. Let's go. Hmm. Hey, El Bueno. Yeah, I'm doing good, thanks. You? I'm going to set up here. 
We got a hasty position. That's not great, but we'll have to make it work. I do believe if I capture all of these, the game immediately proceeds to the next phase. Supply retreated. Perfect. In 25 seconds, I can get a new one. Lucian, howdy. Ooh, another one. Lovely. Shilka. These tanks are not in a great position. In a great state either. Helos? Resupplied. Let's go. Why don't you see me on the Broken Arrow server? Uh, mostly busy. I mean, I'm busy. Oh shit. No, 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 no. I'm busy. I have two small children under two, and that means that uh, I'm fairly lucky if I can find time for anything. And I would definitely be interested in, in following Broken Arrow a lot more than I do. It's just that I don't know where to find the time. It's really that simple. I don't know where to find the time. Jeez, they're all punching nuts on at the moment. Okay, great. Please tell me the supplies are yeah, they're coming in eventually. Broken Arrow is definitely a game that I want to play. It's just that I don't have the time for it. Am I in? In? What does that mean? Let's see. I had a ton of units go there. Welcome to Father Do you know the feeling? <laughs> yeah. It's a little busy. And yet, it's so rewarding to see how my kids are, especially Quinn, the oldest, almost two, how they're learning essentially every day. They're learning so much. And as opposed to most, most dads, I get to be here for almost all of it. Yeah, let's not engage the NTR with the helos. Seems like a bad plan. Supplies. Good God. Why don't you use the road, mister? This is not not fast move. This is slow move. Oh, there's a lot. Don't push into that. Dead. Fuck. Those were veteran units as well. Go. What's your range? 2400. Alright, let's go. We should have the advantage in the field. Enemies there. Sadly, my artillery is currently unavailable. BA is in closed alpha testing. Okay. See, testing a game is something I would love to do. Yet... Oh, great. More counterattacks. Yet... I wouldn't know when to do testing. Because other studios sometimes ask me, hey, would you like to test our new game? I'm thinking, sure, but if I cannot make content about it, then probably not. Because I need to be really economic about my time. You're completely empty. I need to find the time to make content. And I don't have the opportunity to invest, if you will, my time into a project such as testing a game that might not work. That might not get me content. Uh, cease fire. H. There is a lot there. T-55s, T-72s. Oh, I need more tanks. Let's see if we can just flank this. Yeah, it was NDA test to help monetize... To, 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 sorry, to refine the game. 
In that case, it's a, a definite no for me. And please don't take that as disinterest in the game. I am interested in the game. It's just that I need to prioritize the ability to get my content out. Okay, you guys have been resupplied. Perfect. Let's go. I'm going to push with my Shilka because they might not have much. That's my working theory. Sort of. Kill these. Come on. Kill all these. Arty probably won't do it, but it's the only shot I have. Supplies forward. Go. Go, 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 go. Yes, stun these tanks. If nothing else, just stun them. Let's get these guys resupplied. Helos. Back in the field. Go! Fast! Because they're pushing me hard. Oh, hello. That's your artillery. Nice. Nice. Oh god, there's nothing left of this tank. And now I'm getting shot at from the other side. Destroyed. Fuck. We're gonna fall back to here. You're gonna fall back. We need these tanks here. ASAP. Can you fuck up these Shanis? Sonnies? By all means. But this is a bigger priority. You have two boys at age three and eight, and the wife has four horses. You work 50 hours a week? Wow. That must be really busy. But now it's awesome at that age. It gets frustrating from around six years old. Constant bribing, convincing, eat your food. <laughs> yeah. I imagine that we're going to be facing more interesting times at some point. Oh, this is not good. Don't read chat if you're in the middle of a conflict. Pull back! Run! Let's get the BMPs involved. It's better firepower. Capture this! No! They all came back to defend their zone. Fuck. Hello. Now you're going to have to deal with me. MI-24s, show me what you got. Are you trying to shoot back? I'm supposed to do that. Let's get back here. Go, 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 go. And right back to repair. <laughs> Shit. Shoot! As you can see, the AI, if they're so inclined, can really punish you. They are definitely not a cakewalk. Another good hit. Should have used the smoke screen. The artillery smoke a lot more. Go. No! Not the supply trucks. Prioritize killing this. Because I cannot lose these. Go. And they're capturing the farm again. Fuck. I don't have anything defending the facility either. Get more T-55s over there. Oh, sorry, T-72s. Kill! Come on, it's just aluminum for armor. It's aluminum for armor. It's PT-76. Oh, that's not good. It's a tank group. T-72s. Helos are still repairing. Another 2 to 4 counterattack? Wow, why are you affording all this shit? Oh boy. I lost the veterancy on my tanks, so they're going to be far less effective. And we're getting artied. Oh, please don't capture this. Because then I'm going to have to go all the way back there. Is my helo group available? I'm going to have to evac them because it's just the one. Lovely. 
Okay. We're going to have to push with the BMPs and the BTRs. And our half dead 272s. Let's go. This is going to be a fairly risky operation for the gentleman in these BMPs. Based on how it's going, we've made some progress. We got facility, we got farm, we got grove. Yet, it feels like they got a lot more units on the field. And they're a lot more coherent than mine. At least at the moment. Facilities being attacked. Yeah, go figure. No, I need to save up for the MR24Ps. I need to get these guys back quick. They're too good. Go. Go. I might be able to make it all the way to Notza. Zone lost. Shit, they counter capped it. Hmm. Sean, thank you very much. Next cold water episode is coming in a few days. I think I have them set for Wednesdays and Saturdays currently. No, they're about to capture the clearing. Oh, are these the tanks? No, it's the Artie. These are the tanks. Okay, we're gonna blind the tanks. And allow the infantry to push in. That's Antiera, that's Shilka. Kill that. Strela. Same difference. Go. Kill this. Holy shit. Hold back. Wait for T-72s to catch up. Start killing Sani. My 24s are repaired. No, they have arrived. That's it. Go. Attack. Attack. Drop off. It's a fucking trailer. It's not. Thank you. Zone lost. What? Ah. Seriously, you push them on one side and they kick your ass on the other. Pack up the riflemen. We're moving. You and you. You're going to take clearing back with the support from everybody else. Oh, hold on. You need to first capture it. These are wounded, but not dead. Let's go. Uh, yeah, we're going to hit these. Please tell me there's nothing between myself and the target. We're going to sneak through the woods. I don't need you to be emplaced. Zone Good. Captured. It's less than ideal. R2 this. Panicked. Good. Looks like the Arty might be right on target here. The problem lies in the T-55s, I think. This is not great. Minutes remaining. We already fought the PT 76s there. I think. Or no, that was there. Oh, there they are. You guys just have to defend this shit. Be fast. Oh, we almost grabbed Trinatza. Great. Just here where shit's hitting the fan. No, this, gentlemen. That's what I want your missiles on. Stop capturing my farm. They got him, didn't they? Got him. Oh, we're so close to completing the mission. Zone lost. We have lost the farm. Kill the T-55s. Eliminate the rest of the riflemen. Just already this. Great. You're out of ammo. Go here. Zone captured. Not so captured. Well done. Well done. So we're getting slowly to where we need to be. It's just this sector that I still need. 
Clearing is almost captured. Let's give these guys a hand. You guys okay? No, <laughs> there's a whole group of BMPs coming right at you. Might be more of a problem for the BMPs than for me, but... Be fairly careful with these. Seems like war game. Um, it's only single player, correct. It is only single player, because it's a one-man band operation. Designed by one guy, which I think makes it all the more impressive. Seriously, screw these BMPs. What's taking so long? One BMP, sorry, two BMPs and a rifleman. Boom. Now it's one BMP. Oh, it's still two. Yeah, show your side armor. See how that goes. <laughs> Let's go. These riflemen just very neatly made themselves a nice hidey hole looking in the wrong direction. Gentlemen. You have the right idea, just the wrong orientation. Come on, we got three minutes. BMPs are coming in. Push the Sani in as well. You guys are done. Excellent. Go. I got my riflemen here, which are prepared. So if I capture this, we are done. Whew. Do I have a full access to the campaign? Is it long? Pretty much, yeah. It's pretty long. What I'm currently doing is a, uh, an operation. Which generally means you're going to be playing the same battlefield as long as you need in order to complete your objectives. And that can be anywhere from... There we go, stage Total concluded. Animation. Can be anywhere from one battle to five, I guess. And while you're doing it, you gain victory points. As you gain victory points, you can use those victory points to get more units. Not during the battle, but in the next phase. Because now I'm going to move on. We have completed the Lauterbach phase. Now we're going to go to Vogtaichem VEB. They have carved out a nest around Eisenach. In part by the state of emergency, they we're still tasked to root out the rebels. So now we have a whole bunch of new situations. I also have more points, more operational authority. I can use that to expand my battle group or which is what I'm probably going to do, get more deployment points, so I can just field more at any given time. And we're going to have to spend some on resupplying everybody there. All right, um, I'm going to leave you guys here. Nice two-hour stream, that's a, a good length, and I hope you have enjoyed it. Let me know what your thoughts are on the game, either in chat or in a comment if you're watching this video later. Um, I really quite like Regiments, and... Well, it's one of these games that if it had multiplayer, it would be even better. Because then you can have a lot of, uh, let's say, deck builds like they have them in Red Dragon. You can discuss meta, you can challenge your friends to see who has the better commander of the battle group or who's more flexible, and you can surprise each other when somebody suddenly calls in helicopters and you don't have enough AA. Stuff like that would definitely make it suitable for multiplayer. Hope you guys enjoyed the stream. Thank you for joining. If you have any questions, post them down below and I might be able to answer them. And if not, I'll pass you over to a dev or a publisher. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys soon for another stream or video. Good night.